All right, guys, today it's Sunday. We're going to go visit the guys over at Crash City Side by Side YouTube channel, so we'll go make sure to check them out. We're going to get a clutch kit today. It's based on gear reduction and portal applications, and I feel bad. Went to Blue Holler yesterday to try to test out the new tuner. Tune's the only thing I changed, and now it's running hot. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you when I get out to Crash City. Thanks. We're out here with Crash City side by side. They're installing their clutch kit. Up. Found one issue. I need to learn how to stay out of the water. <laughs> <coughs> look, look what you're doing to me here. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Half the mud pit from Blue Holler is currently located on my primary clutch. And on Amber. But we're going to get it right. <laughs> Well, it seems that there's so much mud caked in here that we can't get the primary off. I'm trapped. All right, so here's some knowledge. So if you get our kit and the instructions, it tells you to, to dot your T's and cross your I's, you know, way of uh, removing your clutch and doing it. You don't really have to. So what we did is we took three uh, the bolts out of the cover plate and then I just put my big old meat grabber there on and and just worked the other three out and it pops right out um, didn't have to take the bolt out so the torque isn't messed up so when we go to put it all back together your spacers on your secondary are going to be right on this model but that's all we need to get to is where we can move this in and out and get to the flyweights in there
loaded up, headed back to the house. Got caught in a little bit of rain today on the test drive, but the honest review of the Crash City side-by-side -side with their, cl their custom clutch kit is that for me, I had a lot of slop in the clutching when you'd let off and then give it gas again. With their clutch system, you don't get a lot of slop. When when you make the decision to hit the gas, you're you're getting the power that you are commanding it to have. Um, their clutching from a takeoff is lower engagement. Uh, the last time, I had a lot of mud built up in the clutching. Uh, we also found a crack in my clutch case in the aluminum. Um, but their engagement is like right around 1800 but when you get the engagement it's not it doesn't feel like it's slipping to engage it just feels like you're getting what you're commanding through the gas pedal and you guys i'm not a mechanic i'm not a clutch master i i really don't know anything about clutching with side by sides at all really uh this is just what i'm what i'm feeling through the gas pedal and I would say that it's a huge improvement over stock OEM clutching. Um, I'm hoping to get out here and test it in a couple days. If anybody knows why my machine's overheating, you know, I'll listen to it in the comments or shoot me a message. I, um, I'm just really happy with their clutching. It turns the 35s and portals with fl flawlessly. I enjoy it. It's, um, it's almost great to drive something smooth again. You know, when we start doing all these modifications to the machine and, uh, you know, you start spending a lot of money and you start to pick out the weak points. For me, for the last couple rides, it's been clutching. So we got that handled. Next is uh, probably for me is going to be an RS1 diff and uh, probably some drive shafts. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and go check out Crash City side by side. They have a YouTube channel. And they're gonna break down the whole the whole clutching system and a how-to in, install. So you guys go check them out as well and we'll catch you on the next ride. Thanks.